Hi, it's Sean, the Fluency Awesomizer. Here's another video where I want to take a few minutes and help you decode big words and also give you some spelling tips to take along with you up here and use whenever you need them. Now, I have to admit, today's words aren't very big. I'm about to show you this word. I want you to read it right out loud to whoever you're there with. What is this word? All right, got it. What's this word? They're really similar. The top word is nuisance. The bottom word is nonsense. Let's take a look and compare these two, see how they might be confused. All right, they're almost the same word. There's a little difference in the second syllable. Nuisance has an A, nonsense has an E. It's not a big difference when you listen to the words, all right? And this, listen, nuisance, nonsense, all right? Same syllable, pretty much the same syllable at the end. So I wanna look at the beginning. Both words start with an N, all right? Up top, nuisance has this really interesting vowel pair, U, I, all right? We're gonna look at that a little closer and find out where that comes from because it's hard to read, but it's hard also to remember to spell it U-I. And uh, it's pronounced new since, and the, my question is, how can it be confused with nonsense? Well, let me show you something. If you take this U, and if, because nuisance is an unfamiliar word, it's not unheard of for your brain to reverse or to flip that U and turn it into an N. And your brain can fill in in between that N that you put an O. And you can see here how nuisance can be confused with nonsense, all right? That's, it can happen, all right? And I just wanted to illustrate that for you, nonsense up top, all right? But now I want to look at the root word of nuisance. It's a French word. Nuire, all right? Nuire. It sounds like new weir. Nuire. And in French, nuire has the ui vowel pair. That's where ui comes from, from the French language. All right? And nuire in French means to hurt. Right? And another form of nuire in French is nuisse. It sounds like nuisse. Nuisse, nuisse, and, and this phrase in French, il nuisse, that's how you say it hurts in French. You get a boo-boo, so from nuisse, we drop the E and we add the French suffix A-N-C-E, ants, and that is the word nuissance, nuissance, nuissance in French means, oops, let me go back to that, it's a French word, it means injury, harm, or damage. Injury, harm, or damage. It's a French word, and that is where we get the English word nuisance. All right? Nuisance. It sounds like nuisance. And nuisance in English means something annoying, like harm or an injury. So let's look at what could be annoying. Well, speaking of injury, how about crutches? You know, if you've ever had crutches or you've seen someone with, with crutches, that is definitely annoying, right? Another nuisance is a fly. Flies are definitely a nuisance. Bzz. And, oh, you recognize this guy? This is a, a modern nuisance. No internet, <laughs> right? Everyone... It drives everyone crazy. It's so annoying when there's no internet. So that's a good example of a modern nuisance. All right, let's look at the root word for nonsense. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Sense. You all know what sense means. That makes sense, right? The prefix non comes from the French language also. Nonsense. And non, actually, we pronounce it non, but in French, N-O-N, that's how you say no in French, and it's pronounced non. Say it with me, non, All right? And to help explain, I'm gonna call in, here boy, here's my French bulldog, Pierre. Bonjour, Pierre, Pierre. Did you make this mess on the carpet? No. Pierre, did you chew up daddy's slippers? No. Pierre, are you a bad boy? 
No! Oh, of course you're not, Pierre. You're not a bad boy. Pierre thinks that is all nonsense, all right? Which literally means no sense, right? So it comes from the French language, at least the non part. Non, no sense. All right. Thank you, Pierre. You may leave now. Goodbye. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir, Pierre. No, no. Ah, oh, Pierre. Here, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Thank you. Pierre's afraid of cats. <laughs> so nonsense. All of this is starting to sound like nonsense. Am I right? It means it doesn't make sense. And, and I think we all understand that already. Now, a quick look at the syllables. Nuisance, nonsense. The red is the stressed syllable, two syllable words, both of them. And nuisance, remember, has that French UI vowel pair, but you don't hear it. You have to remember it when you spell it nuisance. And they also have that vowel difference. Nuisance has an A because of the French root. And nonsense has an E because that's an English sense. A and E is a difference. All right, putting these words aside, I want to wrap up here with some extra fluency practice. All right, get ready to hit pause and read this right out loud, and we'll finish up. What does this say? Read it right out loud. Pause. All right, that's going to do it for today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can find lots of videos just like this one, quick little videos where I try to help readers in second through sixth grade and beyond, and even before, try to help them decode big words, all right, which is really tricky. And mom and dad, you can also follow me at the Fluency Awesomeizer. In my photos or in my feed, you can find fluency exercises just like this. They make great quick practice for the same age group all right, there's over 200. There's plenty to keep you busy, especially going into the summer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back and see me again soon here at the Fluency Awesomeizer. Au revoir.